Thank you for tuning in to the G Block Show. We can't tell you how happy we are to have you here today. And we just ask if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell because we want to make sure that you do not miss any of these think and laugh G Block shows. Let's get on with the show. Get your daily funny fix with America's funniest curmudgeon as he has a filled day of fun with the tabloids. I'm going to turn the page here. Breaking news. Megan is devastated by by baby depression. For crying out loud, grow up, right? I know we're all thinking this. Weepy, weepy, weepy Megan. Now that's what she is. She's weepy Megan. Is consoling herself by gobbling baked goods. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I've done that myself a few times. Nothing's better to console you than baked goods, right? No, I can think of a few things, but I, 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 but but still, that's one of them. Sure, give me baked goods and booze and uh, some good, you know. I'm mean, okay. This is a family show. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so she's consumed. She's just gobbling. She's gobbling. I guess they over there and over across the pond. I guess that's what they do. They gobble. They're baked goods. Like, well, we're here. We eat. We eat them. You know, and sometimes we, you know, we munch them, but we don't gobble. But she gobbles. She's gobbling the baked goods nearly two months after son Archie's arrival. And husband Harry, I like this the way they've written this. And husband Harry is frantic. Insider's dish. See how they tie that together? Insider's dish that she is gobbling up baked goods. So a shrink is helping to helping her fight her health. Now, heaven forbid something really goes wrong, and I'm blamed for it, right? <laughs> okay, Harry's troubled wife uh, turns recluse, and she's gained 37 pounds because she's been gobbling up all these goodies because she's been battling being depressed as a baby. Uh, yet she's, well, let's face it, she's got it made in the shade. Harry, you better get a handle on this. Yes, sir. It's not looking good for you here in the Lloyds. And to add, check this out, to add insult to injury, <laughs> Kate, you know Kate, if she's with the, the big boy, the big prince, the next, I think he's the next heir to the throne or second or third, I don't know, he's, he's up there. Apparently his wife, Kate, thinks, according to this tabloid, thinks first-time mom, Megan, is a snooty brat. Snooty brat. I don't know. See, oh, snooty. I mean, that's that's such an English, that's that's such a royal family thing when you think about the royal family. And here she is. She comes in from an outside. You know, I, I don't know. I is Snooty, I'm just imagining they're all snooty. I just, you know. Well, if Kate Middleton says that Megan's a brat, maybe she should be reading the tabloids and she'd find out why. It's because she's battling baby depression. She still thinks she, she's still depressed about being a baby. So give her a chance. You know, you know what I mean? Maybe one day she'll be over it. You know, she'll be like, well, now she'll be battling the brat. Brat depression. Because I always think, you know, obviously a brat means maybe when she's done battling the baby depression, she'll get past the brat phase and, you know, everything will be okay. Now, be your, yeah, you, for anything, you should be your friend for crying out loud. That's what babies do. They cry out loud. Maybe you should just be your maybe you'd be your friend, you know? Yeah, offer up some num num. I don't know. You know, something like that. Just uh, just be nice to her. Okay? I know if I know one thing, and I don't know how deep this baby stuff goes with her. With with Megan. But the one thing you never I you never want to do, and I've learned this the hard way, is you never tell a two year old to act their age. You just don't. Cause you, you just don't because then they'll start they'll, they'll really they'll really let you have it. They are they're possessive, they're grabby, they want to bite everything, they want to, they cry, they kick, they just, they're just unruly. So just, just, you know, let it, let it, let it go. Okay, Kate, you, you need to be the adult in the room. All right. Act your age and everything will be fine. I'm sure Prince William and, and Harry and, and the whole clan will be proud of you. When you just, you know, let it go. Let let things run their course. What what do you what do you make with that? You know, somebody's still depressed over being a baby. 
And now you can have Very Salty make you a personal message video or a business ad video for really cheap. Everybody loves Very Salty for his shows and cheap videos. Yes, he's America's funniest curmudgeon, and he really likes you. I really like you. Go to gblockshow.com now. That's the letter G, B-L-O-C-K-S-H-O-W.com. We're just going to have a great time, and that's why I invite your suggestions. Any ideas you have, I welcome them. Go to www.gblockshow.com. It's the show for the rest of us. It's the show for the best of us. I'm very salty, and you'll be glad you did. Go now. It's free, and you're going to love it. Go to gblockshow.com now. Now! Come on! What are you waiting for, an invitation? <laughs> well, I do those too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and listen to today's show. And just remember, always just, just as simple as can be, just go out, be kind to one another, and love one another. Yeah, you know, you know, as much as possible. Now, we'll catch you back here next time on the G Block Show. You've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show. And we hope you're telling your friends about the G-Block Show. If you have feedback or suggestions or would like to be a G-Block Show sponsor, please contact us at gblockshow.com.